Hey, I worked it out with Connie. I bought out. How much did that cost you? Hey, speaking of which, I gotta check in. I don't believe it. What the f you gonna do? Walk the mall? Go paint seashells in Florida? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, Connie. Yeah, it's done. Good. Put Reggie on. Hey. He wants to talk to you. Yeah. He tell you his big plans? Yeah. You know we can't let it happen. I need you to take care of it. I don't know, Connie. It sounds interesting, but I don't think so. You wanted to move up. You want a shot? This is your shot. You mad enough to take it? Yeah. All right. What was that about? We're planning your retirement party, Vic. So you're gonna do it? Do what? Connie just told you to kill me, didn't he? A Way Out's a short uh, that we produced in December of 2014. It's about an aging gangster who gets into a car ride with his young protege. And once he gets into the car, he discovers they've both been keeping a secret that could kill each of them. And it's about how all their secrets unfold and come out in the course of this one car ride. Well, the cast is one of the things I'm really, I was super proud and excited about uh, in A Way Out. Um, we have three roles, one you never see. Uh, the two that you see, we cast from out of town. This is the first for me. Um, one of them is a guy uh, many people recognize when they see him, but they don't know his name. His name's Bobby Costanzo, and he was in Total Recall and a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, he plays aging gangster Vic, and then his young protege who's keeping a secret is a guy from Oklahoma, an indie actor named Adam Hampton. We, chose, we were really purposeful about where we chose to shoot a way out. I picked um, Franklinton, uh, Columbus, Ohio. Had the kind of visuals we were looking for for the movie. Um, so Mike McNeese shot it. He was our director of photography. Uh, I mentioned earlier, Brant Jones edited it. He also had a role as talent in the movie. Uh, we had a couple people who did production, who did had producing responsibility on the movie, and it was the first time they had uh, been producers. So we, big part of what we want to do is give people an opportunity to learn. Starting with me, we're always looking to learn. And so we gave a couple, uh, Franklin Grace, who's in LA, and Torrance Scott, who's here in Columbus, we gave them the opportunity to help in uh, producing. And that was a good experience for everybody, everybody learned. Well, so two big challenges for the shoot. One of them is we had not worked with out-of-town talent before. So that's, you know, bringing somebody in from out of Columbus to work. One of them was a big Hollywood talent who'd been on hundreds of sets. And sort of, we have not been on hundreds of sets. We've been on fives of sets. So that was really cool. And that one of the reasons I did it was so that we could all learn from one another. Big challenge in producing a way out was um, weather and locations. Those were our two big issues and it really just underscored the importance of planning and building in safety days and we ended up using every minute of the safety time that we planned. What happened was on day one we had exterior shoots and if you have exterior shoots one thing will always happen it will rain and it rained and it rained so much that we got rained out. We had planned for rain we didn't you can't plan it plan enough. The next day we had an interior shoot at a garage because we were using firearms uh, some people got really nervous, and then some people who were bigger uh, up the chain from them got even more nervous, and eventually we ended up with CPD, uh, Columbus Police Department called, and the Campus Police Department was called, and the local security was called, and we were locked up in that garage for about four hours of the, you know, ten hours of daylight or nine hours of daylight we had that day. But in the end, we ended up shooting, and uh, it all came out okay. We needed to have Robert Costanzo leaving set on Sunday, our final safety day, at three o'clock. We wrapped a way out at 2.55 p.m. So we had five minutes of our safety day, so I guess the, the planning worked. The best part of shooting way, a way out, number one is always the same best part for me with filmmaking, which is the teamwork. You get on set, you're with everybody who's contributing, I don't want to seem highfalutin, but it really feels noble to me. It feels like 
a noble endeavor. All these people get together, they contribute their talents, they um, are contributing to something that's bigger than them, and it, it moves me, really. Like, that's really, really satisfying. And we have really good people, and people that have worked together, and people who haven't worked together, and we all came together and, and made this short. And that's always one of the best parts. The other best part about Shooting Way Out was watching these two actors really arrive into their characters in this car. And watching these two guys arrive into character and realizing they had, they were there, they were in character, they were connecting, they were really listening to each other and believing each other. And uh, it's beautiful, really beautiful. Uh, we ended up with a movie we're really proud of. It meets the number one criteria we always have, which is, is it a compelling story?